Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're tackling a critical and alarming topic, countries and cities threatened by rising sea levels. How will climate change impact the future of these places? Which countries might disappear or face severe impacts if sea levels continue to rise? Stick around for some truly eye-opening information. Here, on the edge of the world's oceans, the tide is turning. The rhythm of the waves, once a comforting constant, now carries a message of change, a change driven by the warming of our planet. As temperatures rise, the vast ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica, once thought immutable, are beginning to melt at an alarming rate. This meltwater, billions of tons of it, flows into the oceans, inexorably pushing sea levels higher. Scientists predict that this rise could reach a meter or more within the century. A meter might seem insignificant on the scale of our planet, but for the millions who inhabit low-lying coastal regions and islands, it represents a profound threat. Their homes, their livelihoods, their very existence are all at stake. The primary culprit behind this rising tide is, of course, the warming of our planet. As the Earth's atmosphere traps more heat from the sun, a consequence of greenhouse gas emissions, the oceans absorb a significant portion of this excess heat. Like most substances, water expands as it warms, a phenomenon known as thermal expansion. This expansion, combined with the influx of meltwater from glaciers and ice sheets, creates a double whammy, driving sea levels ever higher. The consequences of this are already being felt around the world. In the azure waters of the Indian Ocean lies the Maldives, a chain of idyllic islands renowned for their pristine beaches and vibrant coral reefs. This tropical paradise, with its crystal clear waters and abundant marine life, is a dream destination for many. Yet, this paradise faces a perilous future. The rising sea levels, driven by global climate change, pose an existential threat to these beautiful islands. With most of the Maldives barely a meter above sea level, even a modest rise in sea level could spell disaster. The island's very existence is at stake, as higher tides and stronger storm surges could submerge them entirely. The very islands that draw tourists from around the globe could be swallowed by the sea, displacing communities and devastating the local economy. Tourism, which is the lifeblood of the Maldivian economy, would be severely impacted, leading to widespread job losses and economic instability. Thousands of miles away, in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the island nations of Kiribati and Tuvalu face a similar plight. These nations, with their rich cultural heritage and unique way of life, are also at the mercy of rising sea levels. These low-lying atolls, home to unique cultures and ecosystems, are on the front lines of climate change. The rising waters threaten not only their homes, but also their traditions and way of life, which have been passed down through generations. Kiribati, in a desperate bid to secure a future for its people, has already purchased land in Fiji as a potential refuge should their homeland become uninhabitable. This proactive measure underscores the severity of the threat they face and the lengths to which they must go to ensure their survival. Bangladesh, a nation synonymous with its lush river deltas and vibrant culture, faces a different but equally daunting challenge. The country's vast network of rivers and deltas, which support millions of people, is highly vulnerable to rising sea levels. While not an island nation, Bangladesh is home to a vast, densely populated delta region that lies barely above sea level. The rising waters threaten to displace millions of people, creating a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented scale. Rising sea levels threaten to inundate this fertile land, displacing millions and crippling the nation's agricultural heartland. The loss of arable land would have devastating consequences for food security, both within Bangladesh and beyond. Even developed nations are not immune to the threat of rising seas. Coastal cities around the world are grappling with the reality of higher tides and more frequent flooding. The Netherlands, a country renowned for its centuries-long battle against the sea, faces an increasingly precarious future. Despite their advanced engineering and extensive network of dikes and barriers, the Dutch are acutely aware of the growing threat posed by climate change. 
Despite their sophisticated system of dikes and barriers, the Dutch know that even their best efforts may not be enough to hold back the rising tide indefinitely. The country continues to innovate and adapt, but the challenge is immense. Across the Atlantic, the bustling metropolis of Miami, a symbol of American prosperity and leisure, faces a growing risk from rising sea levels. The city's iconic beaches and vibrant nightlife are under threat from the encroaching sea. The city's porous limestone bedrock allows seawater to seep into the water table, threatening infrastructure and increasing the risk of flooding. This unique geological feature makes Miami particularly vulnerable to sea level rise, complicating efforts to protect the city. Further west, along the Louisiana coastline, communities are already grappling with the effects of land loss and rising seas, a stark reminder of the challenges that lie ahead. The erosion of the coastline and the loss of wetlands are displacing communities and threatening the region's unique way of life. Chapter 4. A World Transformed, Economic and Social Implications The consequences of rising sea levels extend far beyond the immediate threat to landmass. The encroaching waters are not just a physical phenomenon, but a catalyst for profound economic and social upheaval. As sea levels creep higher, the economic and social fabric of entire regions is at risk of unraveling. Coastal towns and cities, once thriving hubs of activity, now face an uncertain future. Coastal communities, dependent on fishing and tourism, face the prospect of losing their livelihoods as their homes and businesses are swallowed by the sea. The fishing industry, a lifeline for many, will be particularly hard hit, with fish stocks declining and fishing grounds disappearing. The displacement of millions of people will create a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented scale. Families will be torn apart, and entire communities will be forced to relocate, often with little more than the clothes on their backs. Refugees, fleeing inundated coastal areas, will place a strain on resources and infrastructure in inland regions. These areas, already struggling with their own challenges, will have to accommodate an influx of displaced people, leading to overcrowding and increased demand for basic services. The competition for land, water, and essential services could lead to social unrest and conflict. Tensions will rise as communities vie for limited resources, potentially sparking violence and further destabilizing regions. The economic toll of rising sea levels will be staggering. The loss of property, the cost of rebuilding, and the disruption to industries will have far-reaching consequences. Infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and power plants, will be damaged or destroyed. The cost of repairing and replacing these vital structures will be immense, stretching the financial resources of governments and communities. Coastal erosion will threaten property values and disrupt tourism. Once popular destinations may become uninhabitable, leading to a decline in tourism revenue and economic hardship for those who depend on it. The cost of adapting to this new reality will be immense, placing a heavy burden on governments and communities around the world. Investments in flood defenses, relocation programs, and sustainable infrastructure will be necessary but costly, requiring unprecedented levels of cooperation and funding. Chapter 5 holding back the tide, how countries are preparing to adapt. Faced with this existential threat, nations around the world are scrambling to adapt. The Netherlands, with their long history of water management, are investing heavily in innovative solutions, such as floating homes and room for the river projects that allow rivers to flood naturally, reducing pressure on dikes. Small island nations with limited resources face a more daunting challenge. Some are considering building seawalls and elevating infrastructure, while others are exploring the possibility of relocating their populations to higher ground, a heartbreaking decision that highlights the severity of the situation. In Bangladesh, communities are adapting to the changing environment by constructing floating gardens and raising homes on stilts. These innovative approaches offer a glimmer of hope, demonstrating the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Chapter 6. Turning the Tide What can we do? The threat of rising sea levels is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our planet and the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. 
Human activities, such as industrial pollution, deforestation, and the relentless expansion of urban areas, have profound impacts on our environment. Addressing this challenge requires a global effort, one that transcends national borders and political ideologies. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, the root cause of climate change, is paramount. This involves transitioning from fossil fuels to cleaner alternatives. Transitioning to clean, renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, is essential. These sources not only reduce emissions, but also provide sustainable energy for future generations. Investing in energy efficiency measures, like upgrading to energy efficient appliances and improving home insulation, and promoting sustainable transportation options, such as electric vehicles, cycling, and carpooling, can also make a significant difference. Urban planning that incorporates green spaces and encourages recycling is vital. Protecting and restoring coastal ecosystems, such as mangroves and salt marshes, is another crucial step. These ecosystems not only support biodiversity, but also help mitigate the impacts of rising seas. These natural barriers act as buffers, absorbing wave energy and reducing the force of storm surges, and protecting coastlines from erosion. Constructing physical barriers, like seawalls, can also provide additional protection. Education and awareness are crucial. Schools, communities, and organizations must work together to spread knowledge. Informing the public about the causes and consequences of rising sea levels can lead to more informed decisions. This knowledge empowers individuals to make informed choices in their daily lives and demand action from their leaders. Collective action and policy changes are essential to address this global issue effectively. Outro our sinking future. Thanks for watching. Rising sea levels are not just an environmental issue. They're an existential threat to many nations and cities worldwide. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What can be done to reduce this risk? Will we actually see these countries disappear in the near future? If you enjoyed this content, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. See you next time.